Well, my uncle was a driver. My opa always wanted to be a driver. Uh, my grandpa was a driver. And so it was just heavily inspired early on for my life. And then, yeah, kind of just worked out where after I got the training, this was the ideal job. I love to drive, so it was perfect. Yeah, my dad became a detective. He always wanted to be a police officer and he always wanted to work like directly with people. So he wasn't, uh, trucking wasn't really his, his forte, but um, they were really proud when I was a trucker just because I've got a lot of family that does it. So it's pretty, it's pretty big. I think the biggest part is probably how flexible everybody is and how open they are to, you know, if I need something or if I need to be home for a certain date or, or you know, if it's a wedding or if it's, a, you know, even my own wedding, but, you know, another person's wedding or so on. They're very accommodating with getting me home on time um, as well as having constant work so that in between those big events, I'm actually making some money. So that's kind of a, a big thing, I guess. I took my wife with me uh, just after we got married. It was kind of our honeymoon um, in a sense. It wasn't our official honeymoon, but it was uh, almost like an after honeymoon where we went to, ended up getting a trip to California. We stayed there for a couple days. We ended up going to Long Beach and, and just had like the time of our lives. And it was better than what we could have actually afforded for our honeymoon. So <laughs> it, was a, it was pretty awesome. Seriously, that's probably the best time because it was just, I've only been here for well, I guess two, almost three years, and that one was just unbelievable, that experience. It was, it was beyond anything I can describe. I was really surprised that in the, the trucking industry, because before I had heard, like I thought it was just kind of like do it yourself, but I was really surprised at their hands-on approach and how, how open they are with talking about it, how they're, they're willing, like doors open, always willing to come in and, and uh, you know, they'll either call me and we'll, we'll talk about whatever it is and they're very open with, um, with ideas and, and the fact that most of them have been truckers so they know where I'm coming from when, when something has happened or they know and so they're not right away just, oh well my book here says you should have done this. They're very open with, with oh yeah, no, I, I know I did that but, you know, do this instead or, or something like that. But I, I was really impressed with, with how bison safety is. The only, uh, the support I get from the fleet managers is awesome, how they're, they're always willing to, to help out in any way they can, and, the, and then they're always willing to, you know, if something goes wrong or, or anything like that, they're always sure to be, okay, just be safe and, and take your time. If, if, you know, if you're having trouble or if this is, you know, if something's gone wrong, don't worry about it, we'll figure it out. They actually seem genuinely to care about the drivers and their safety and the safety of everyone around them. So I've had a few times where, They've, they're about to do an inspection. And oh, oh, you're with Bison. Oh, I you know you're, you should, you guys should be good. So, uh, as far as our safety record and stuff, they know that we, you know, Bison keeps the maintenance up on the, the trucks and the trailers really well. So, um, I've been passed by a few times, which can be like a, if you're in a hurry, especially to get to a, a location, an inspection can really slow you down. So, that alone has been, been pretty awesome. You know, the big thing is, is uh, I have pride, right? I can actually be proud when I step out of a bison truck. Right now it's just about working hard and then, then it's pretty much about starting a family and, and you know, getting some more bison employees in the, <laughs> in the works. <laughs>